Hi. In this Excel sheet, we calculate the option price on different types of options uh, using the explicit final difference method and the implicit final difference method. Uh, you can see below you have uh, for all the different kinds of uh, options US call using explicit final difference method, the implicit method, method um, US put, European call, European put. So you just have to choose uh, the sheet uh, depending on which method you want to use and which option you're calculating for. But anyway, you have to, obviously to enter the stock price at time zero, the strike price, and then the span of stock prices you want to consider, in this case from zero to 60. And you have to enter uh, the number of steps for the span and the stock price. Here it's 40. And then obviously you have a delta in stock price per step of 1.5. We are looking at uh, an option with time to maturity in half a year. And we are considering steps um, for the time to ma uh, maturity, 26 steps. Uh, that is uh, a week at a time, so to speak. So we have a delta in time per step calculated here. You, of course, also have to enter the risk-free rate and the volatility and yield, if any, uh, given in your assignment. And the point is, uh, when you use the formulas to calculate this, I'm sure you have a theory book where you can uh, check the formulas if you want to. Anyway, uh, I just want to show to you here that the point is that you look at uh, the option price for the stock price given at time zero. And since we had a stock price at time zero of 30, we go down here to a stock price of 30. And we can see that our calculation of uh, the call option of this uh, American call option, the price of this would be 2.9438. That was the explicit finite difference method. If we use the implicit finite difference method um, with the same information, we get a more precise calculation. We still have a stock price at time zero of 30. So we still uh, check for the, for the stock, stock price here at 30 and have uh, an, an option price of 2.7613. The implicit finite different method is considered to be more accurate. Uh, and it is also a lot more complicated to calculate. Uh, you can, dive into these um, inverse numbers and the use of the factors in the calculations yourself. Um, the point is just to, to show you and share with you my sheet and um, you can easily check the formulas using your own theory or, or looking at uh, these um, uh, theory spots, so to speak, that I uh, put in the Excel sheet. I hope uh, this will be useful for you, and thank you for your time.